Hey, what's up guys? So today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you how to make wine. So as you can see, just outside these doors I have a vineyard. Heaps of grapes so I can make plenty of wine. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be destroying this and I'm going to be building a brewery. I'll be right back with you once this is done. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video, and see you shortly. And boom, with the magic of YouTube, we have a winery, or a brewery, for wine. So here it is. Now, at the moment, freshly built, nothing in here. Just all the lighting and all the cover we need. So the reason why I'm doing wine is because it has some really good benefits. So I will show you in a moment how to start out making wine. Now, as you can see, I have a vineyard here. This is a randomly spawned vineyard that just happened to be in the village that I've made my home. But if you don't have that, there's a couple steps you need to take. First step is you're gonna need stakes and twine. So to make a steak, you need wood that has been stained. This has been stained with just grapes. So we can make a few steaks with that. There we go, we got some steaks. And we also need twine to, you know, hold the grapes up. So we'll grab the twine, the steaks. Okay, claim some water somewhere. If it's not all frozen, be right back with you with some water. So I'll just do a demonstration here of how to plant your grapes. You need a steak and a steak preferably a couple. So you need plenty of water near it, so I'm going to put water there. Okay, so we're going to bring this one back, just so I do this properly. So we'll bring this over to here. So there we go. Now we'll reattach the twine. Okay, so now that you've built this, the next step is grape seeds. Now, as you can see, I've got some grapes here. You can't plant them, you just try and eat them. So first things first, you need to prep the soil. So let's get out the hoe, prep the soil, bang, easy done. And then grape seeds. So what you do is you go to your crafting bench, chuck a grape on there, and that's how you get the seeds out of it. Easy peasy. And then we just make our way through here and boom, we planted grape seeds. Now that's gonna grow up to here. You need to have one space on either side there's tricks to make it longer, but basic, one space on either side. This will grow two grapes, and it'll keep regrowing the grapes as long as you've got this set up like that. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, the next step you need is there's different types of wines. So you need wild berry wine as well. So wild berry bushes just grow randomly. So here's one, and you can actually pick up the bush. So if you chop it with the axe, you can just pick up the bush. Now, that's three of them, and I can also plant more bushes. But the best bet is staying by the brewery. I'm actually going to tear this down, because this is just going to grow. It's going to spread to each side, and the grape's going to come out, and you're going to get something like that. Alright, so I'll tear this down quickly, because this is actually where I want to plant my berries. So we'll get all that done, chuck some more dirt in here, and this is where I'm going to plant my berries. Alright, so I'll get that done quickly. Wild berries are easy enough to find, you know, so I'll just go have a look around. If you're planning to become a winemaker like me, look around for some wild berries. Chop them with your axe and plant them over there until you've got a nice little supply of them. Now, there's another type of wine you can get too, which is iron wine, but you need to find an iron leaf tree or an iron tree. and I have no idea where an iron tree is, so we're just going to stick with normal wine and berry wine. I might come back a bit later if I do discover an iron tree, but yeah, yeah. This is all preparation, there's still a lot more to wine making than just gathering the materials needed. So let's do another line of these. Okay, so now we have a wild berry plantation. Now wild berries, when you make them into wine, they're going to boost up all your other buffs, which is going to make a huge difference to the rest of the game. So now that we've got that, it's time to start making the wine. Alright, now that we've got those berries planted and we've got our grapes over there, time to make the equipment we're going to need. So 
to start off we're gonna need barrels so if I remember correctly the barrel is just four of these we're gonna make two of them a plank each on these sides and then a piece of iron at the top and bottom and that there is how you make the barrels now we're also gonna need something to crush the fruit in first so that would be a crushing tub so we just need two planks a couple steps a couple slabs and iron so let's do that now so I've already forgotten so I'll have to look again but I think it's that and this and this where was it forget already ah each side okay so two here two here two crushing barrels boom now we've got everything we need to start making wine I'm also actually gonna make something to hold everything in so I'll get that done quickly there we go and that's pretty much the whole setup well that went a bit squeaky there all right now we'll head into our brewer it's best to do one at a time so I will come back to you once it's done so it turns out it takes a really long time which is great so I might just keep filling those up while I wait and it's still going okay so we've got our wine it's brewing it's almost done see how far it is now we're looking for a quality of 0.5 or above so that we can edit the wine to make it perfect so we've got our berry wine here it's almost done we've got our standard wine here so hang around it's about to be finished oh what's this something sparkling okay oh it takes so long to make wine why does it take so long anyway we are almost there I'm literally gonna watch this last bit and see if we get some good wine okay it is done we are just below quality level so i think i put this here and then we have a 0.49 percent quality wine okay now that we've got our wine our berry one's about to finish but we've got this one what you do is you chuck it in here and what this does is improves the quality so you have to wait for ages it needs to go through that whole process again i believe and eventually it'll come in here and then into here again yes it takes a long time and that's how you improve the quality of your wine so let's grab this glass bottle we've got 0.75 that's pretty good so we'll put it in here and that will go in there 
and that is how we do it so I'll leave it at that hope you like this video if you like this video consider subscribing and don't forget to like and comment tell me what you think and yeah I will get back to you next time I hope you enjoyed learning how to make wine see you later